All right, everybody. Ah, what is going on? I hope you're all well. Uh, today's video is going to be a little bit different. It's um, well, it's a reaction video, and it's going to be a reaction to a news story that I saw, or, or a video, a YouTube video, um, talking about a woman that could quite possibly be the first ever woman to play in the NFL. Now, I don't know how that would work. I don't know what position. Maybe it's a play on words, maybe it's just a clickbait title, but we're going to watch it. So with that being said, sit back, relax, and I'll see you in a minute. The quicker you're here, the faster you go. That's why where I come from, the only thing we know is... Check out Major Key Physiques for the best in sports apparel and workout accessories. They have free shipping worldwide for all orders over $150. Use discount code JACOB10 for an extra 10% off. Enjoy the video, and I'll see you there. She may be the first female player, the first female NFL player. Have a look at this. <laughs> what? 850 likes, 650 dislikes. Tony Harris, a safety for East Los Angeles College, is set to become the first woman to receive a college. Uh, okay, a f the first woman to receive a scholarship to play college football. Now that is something else. That's amazing. She is making history and shattering expectations from high school homecoming queen to a college football defensive back. Tony Harris cannot be boxed in, and her dreams do not stop there. Next on her agenda, becoming the NFL's first female football player, and her inspiring story is now being featured in Toyota's new Super Bowl. Yeah! They said she was too small. They said she was too slow. Too weak. They said she'd never get. So it's been made a huge deal because it was in the Super Bowl ad. To the next level. Never inspire a new generation. Never get a football scholarship. Yeah, people have made a lot of assumptions about Tony. But I've never been a big fan of assumptions. Ooh, that look you give the camera. <laughs> She's Here, famous congratulations now. Congratulations on the ad. Congratulations just on, on you. Welcome. Thank you. Um, can I just ask, because listen, as, as a, obviously a girl and growing up with a little brother and tossing around the football in my backyard, but, but, but I always thought, all right, well, girls don't play football. So what was it about you or your family or your environment that led you to just be like, I can do this? Yeah, so I only had one cousin that I really watched growing up playing football. But other than that, my other brothers and sisters, they don't play football. I'm the only one that plays football. So I grew up watching him, and I wanted to play, and that's how it all began. Huh. And now I actually, come to think of it, there was a girl who played with us in rugby uh, from, like, under fives all the way up to, like, under 13s when I left that team. But she was the, she was the sister of a, a player in the team, so it was brother and sister. And she was, she was the only girl on the team. She was always the only girl on the field, you know? Um, I don't know about these days. I'm pretty sure there's probably going to be women rugby teams now and girls rugby teams because there's enough girls to play. But back then, this is like 20 years ago, or 15, 20 years ago, which is fucking crazy to say. But uh, there was none, you know? And it was, it was an anomaly. But she had the speed. She, has the, she had the size and the strength. And she, she eventually cut her hair short as well. So she looked like a boy, you know? Um, I doubt whether this girl's gonna gonna cut her hair off, but uh, she's most likely got the hops, the speed, and the drive. And after this, I'm gonna have a look at some of her plays. All this attention you're getting, and obviously playing ball with a bunch of guys, and you've got this big Super Bowl ad. How how are your fellow, you know, college players handling it, and, and how are you handling it? I'm handling it pretty well. Um, it's very overwhelming, but it's very exciting. Also, the moment is still surreal, so I'm still trying to capture the thoughts and moments of it. But my teammates, they're pretty happy for me. They're all calling and telling me how proud they are um, for me. And so, yeah, it's pretty good for me. Um, a gazillion eyeballs, Tony, will be on TVs around the country this Sunday. Like, you will become a household name. And so when you do, what is the message you want to pass along to other young women in this country who are taught early on you can't? 
I want them to tell to never stop pushing. Don't give up on your dreams, you know. Keep pushing forward. And I tell everyone, the sky is not the limit when there are footprints on the moon. I always try to push myself every single day and keep my faith in God to let me go as far as I want to go. I want them to know that, you know, keep dreaming and keep your dream alive. Don't let allow anyone to stop you. But Tony, be real with me. Like, did, did you ever have a you can't moment with, I don't know, a coach, someone around you that, that really became this life defining moment for you? Uh, I'm about to watch these squats. She's got about 245 pounds. Of course, I had a coach tell me before that I would never get to the next level because I was a lot smaller and not as fast as the other guy. So that moment kind of, you know, taught me to never give up. From that moment then, I told myself, no one's ever going to decide what I'm going to do with my life. That's my decision. Isn't that amazing when we have these you can't moments? I remember being in college, course, a journalism yeah. professor wrote on my, my exam, like, you will never make it in journalism. No. Like, oh, really? Well, watch this. <laughs> um, he did not write that on your paper. And you proved him wrong. And there you go, though nearly 20 years in. What about for you, like, so you've been playing at the college level for two years. I've heard you've applied um, for, for other schools. Like, what, what's your next step? So my next step is to figure out what school is best for me athletically and academically. And so I'll probably decide that once things, you know, kind of die down from the Super Bowl. Spoiler alert, it, it may not die down. Um, Tony <laughs> Harris, good luck. Good luck. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you so much. We'll look for you on Sunday. I don't know, man. I, I don't see her uh, dominating physically in a top level college football, but that's just me. That's just me. So with that being said, let's see some of her plays. Here we go. Two months ago, Juco prospect out of East LA College. Great inspiration for any females also seeking to play football. Let's go. This is that huddle stuff, isn't it? Okay, where is she? She's um, she's safety. So she back here. Yeah. Get up. That would be really fun actually, being back on your own like that. That's like being a fullback. I haven't seen that before. I haven't seen only one safety back there, but I assume that's because they're quite close to the, um, the end zone. Or maybe they're just blitzing. <laughs> That's it. That's it. Get him! Or is it girls? No, it's men, isn't it? A <laughs> big battle! Yeah! Oh! 
circle. The lateral. Oh, she's coming. <laughs> Put the shoulder in. Put the shoulder in. All right. Okay, there we go. All right. Um, right. Well, Antoinette, Tony Harris, I want to say, I know you're going to be an absolute inspiration to a lot of women out there. But, look, you guys came here for my reaction. Uh, my final verdict is she will not be the first woman to play in the NFL. Because if she makes the NFL, then that means I'm making the NFL. And I'm probably not going to make the NFL. So with that being said, I uh, hope you enjoyed. Most of you probably saw that in the Super Bowl. I didn't. I didn't see the American ads because I was watching it here in Australia. I only saw the Australian ads. And the ads that I saw in Australia would not be paying $3 million per ad, that's for sure. Most likely um, $3 three dollars to be honest anyways guys if you have enjoyed this video as always hit the like button if you want to subscribe for more please do and in the next video i'm going to be back with some more joseph vincent we're going to look at patrick mahomes can't wait so i'll see you then peace out